are gonna be making some air fryer roasted cauliflower. So I'm heating up my air fryer. You might hear it in the background, but uh, it's really important to get your air fryer heated up. So this is a recipe that you can make with other things besides cauliflower. You could make it with broccoli would be really good, carrots, potatoes, onions, all kinds of stuff. But I've got this head of cauliflower today and I'm gonna use this to show you how I make my roasted cauliflower. It's one of my favorite dishes. Super, super easy. You can also do this in an in a air fryer that you have like a countertop air fryer. Mine's actually built into my Breville oven and it's just super simple. You don't even have to think about it. So we're gonna cook this for about 15 minutes on each side at about 400 degrees. And let me show you how to do this. You're gonna be amazed. It's like super fast, super simple. So we're gonna start off by adding about a fourth of a cup of flour. We're gonna do the same thing with some panko unflavored breadcrumbs, just some plain breadcrumbs. We're gonna put about a fourth of a cup in. I'm gonna add that to my flour. And I'm gonna do the same thing with some Parmesan cheese. So I'm gonna put in about a fourth of a cup. There you go. Now, if you have the grated Parmesan or if you have the kind in the green bottle, either one works fine. So don't worry if that's the one you have, you know, use the one you have. I, I put in a little bit of garlic. Now you wanna take some of this liquid off or if you make your own garlic, you know, that's probably a better option, but this works great. If I'm gonna add a little bit of pepper. I'd say about a quarter of a teaspoon. I like to grind my pepper. I just love the bigger chunks of pepper. I think it tastes really good. And then a little bit of salt. Again, about a fourth of a teaspoon. Then I add a little bit of paprika. <clears throat> and I just put it in because I'm, it's a seasoning that I use in so many different things. I'd say about a half of a teaspoon of paprika. Then I make my own herbs from dehydrated things that I have out in the garden, but an Italian seasoning would work really great with this. So I'm gonna put in about, I'd say about a teaspoon of my Italian uh, herbs from my garden. And I'm just gonna give this a nice little stir. Just make sure that garlic gets pushed in with the rest of the ingredients. All right, I think that looks amazing. Give it a little shake. And then all I'm gonna do, I've washed my cauliflower. Let me show you. I've washed my cauliflower. I'm just going to dry it a little bit more with these paper towels, just to make sure it's as dry as it can be. I'm just gonna take my cauliflower and get it off this paper towel because I wanna spray this with a little bit of olive oil or grapeseed oil, whatever you have that you like. And I think what I'm gonna do is just throw this in a bag and then that, that'll that be a little bit easier to get the olive oil coating all of it. Put my cauliflower in here. You make these cauliflowers as large or as small as you like. I'm just gonna coat about, about three or four tablespoons of olive oil all over my all over my cauliflower. And all I'm gonna do is just kind of mix this up. I just want all of this cauliflower coated. These are ready to go. All right, I've got my little air fryer pan. All I'm gonna do is take my cauliflower and just roll it around in this Parmesan, garlicky, delicious mixture. Delicious, yum, yum, I can smell it. Smells so good. All right, then we're just gonna put those on our air fryer pan. We're gonna do that to all these cauliflowers. And you can see this is just, this is something that'd be great if you're having the grandkids or even some adults. <laughs> I love to cook, I love to do this kind of stuff. So just make it, just cover it as good as you can. This is gonna be so yummy. All right, I'll see you as soon as I get all of these coated with my, with my mixture and we'll stick them in the oven and get them all browned up. Okay, our cauliflowers are ready to put in the oven. I'm gonna go ahead and just stick them in there for about 10, 15 minutes. I'll watch and see when they start browning. 
Then we're gonna turn them over and then we'll show you the next step. So while our cauliflower is cooking, we're gonna take about two tablespoons of butter and we're just going to melt that butter. This is gonna take about a minute or so because I've got this hot plate heating up. So I'll bring you back in just a second. Now that our butter has started melting, all we're gonna do is take our leftover ingredients from making the cauliflower dip and put it right into the pan. We're just gonna cook that for about a minute or so. Get it all heated up and cook some of that leftover flour out of it. Oh, smells so good with the Parmesan and the garlic. You know, you could eat this for dinner instead of having your normal food that you make for dinner. You could just put this together and I guarantee you it would be a wonderful treat. So we're just gonna let those panko breadcrumbs brown up a little bit in the butter, cook some of that Parmesan a little bit. I've got it browned up. I'm gonna add a little bit of evaporated milk and I mean just a little bit. All we're gonna do is make a little sauce. I want it just thickened up a little bit from this mixture we just cooked. And then <clears throat> after this has a chance to cool, we're gonna add some sour cream to it. Now I wanted to show you a little hack for adding sour cream to hot mixtures. Now I let mine cool down a little bit, but all you're gonna do is try to get the sour cream and whatever you're adding to kind of a one-to-one -one ratio. So all I'm doing is kind of adding a little bit of sour cream to a little bit of my mixture. Now, if this was hot, I would just take my time. You just want to make sure that you're not going to curdle your sour cream. Just like that. Or you can let it cool and then add it. And that's it. This is going to be our mixture. It's got some <clears throat> little pieces of... Uh, Parmesan cheese in it. It's got garlic and seasonings and this. So our roasted cauliflower is completely cooked through and boy, does it ever smell delicious. This is gonna be such a tasty dish. Now you can serve this as an appetizer or you could serve this as a main meal, whatever it is that you like. <clears throat> cauliflower is extremely healthy. And cooking it in the air fryer is just a really good option for making this dish. Now, just wanted to let you know you could bake it as well if you prefer to bake it if you don't have access to an air fryer. I guess you would call this more of a dip than you would a sauce. So this is my roasted cauliflower with my garlic and Parmesan dip. So let's give this a try. I'm going to get a little tiny one just to make sure it's cooked enough or well that it, it, they're all cooked enough that it's cooled down enough. Let's give this a little taste. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Give this healthy option a try. Now, I can't say that the sour cream mixture is the healthiest, but Take this away and this really is pretty healthy. And you know what? You could eat these without the sauce for sure. So thank you for watching. I appreciate you joining me today to make this delicious roasted cauliflower. I hope you'll give it a try. If you're like me and you're always trying to get more vegetables into your, your cooking, this is a great way to do it, roasting vegetables. So please subscribe to my channel if you're not a subscriber. Give me a like, a thumbs up, or share this with someone that you think might enjoy it. And I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.